Good morning, little lights online. It is great to be with you. I'm Lizzie. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So today I've got a bit of a treat for you. We are going to be looking at the themes of traditional tales before we start our Christmas themes in a few weeks time. But the story that we're going to do today involves a little boy called Jack and a very, very, very big giant and or I'd have to say the most enormous beanstalk that you could ever imagine. So does anyone know the name of the story or the traditional tale that we're going to be telling and talking about today? Shout it out. Not three little pigs. You're right, it is Jack and the Beanstalk. That absolutely is the story that we're going to be doing today. And so to start us off, what colour is a beanstalk? Is it red? No. Is it blue? No. Is it yellow? No. You did it, you shouted it out for me. The beanstalk is the colour green. Now you might be thinking, Lizzie's sitting with a few things that are green in her house. I am. I'm sitting with a green Thunderbird too, a green army net. I'm also sitting with a green car. And so what I'm going to ask you to do now is you're going to have a minute and I'm going to put a minute on the clock on this video and you have a minute to run around the house as fast as you can and find as many different things that you can spot that are green. OK, and what I'd like you to do is gather them all up and bring them back to where you're sitting. OK, or just spot them around the house entirely up to you. But talk to mommy and daddy how you want to do it. But I'm going to put a minute on the clock now to find as many things as you can that are the colour of our beanstalk, which is the colour green. Are you ready? On your marks. Get set. Go. Well, well done. So would you now like to hear the story of Jack and the Beanstalk? I'm going to tell the story and there's going to be pictures that are going to pop up on the side here as I speak. Are you ready? Once upon a time, there was a little boy called Jack and he lived with his mum and they had a lovely cow called Daisy. One day, his mum turned around and said, we need to sell Daisy. We have no money left. So Jack said, OK, I'm going to take Daisy all the way into town and I make sure that I get money in exchange for our cow. You better do that, said his mum, as he set off down the road to go and sell Daisy the cow. Well, along the way, he came across an old man and the old man said, well, what a lovely cow you have here. I'll tell you what, I'll give you these magic beans in exchange for that cow. Jack looked at him and thought, hmm, I'm not too sure whether I want to swap my cow for those beans. But he thought the man was quite nice, so he decided to do that. So he took the beans home to his mummy. Show me with your face what you think his mummy did. Do you think his mummy was pleased that he bought back beans back home? Uh, uh, uh. His mummy was not pleased at all. His mummy was really, really cross and she threw the beans out of the house. Oh dear. Well, Jack went to bed that night with no supper and his mum was very, very cross. 
The next morning, something extraordinary happened. Jack peered out of his window to find that an enormous beanstalk <gasps> had grown overnight outside his house. Can you believe that? And he thought to himself, this must have grown because of the beans landing on the soil. And it did. The beanstalk went up to the sky through the clouds and disappeared. Well, Jack being Jack was very excited about the idea of an adventure. So do you know what Jack did? He jumped on board the beanstalk and he climbed higher and higher and higher and higher, went through the clouds until he got to the top. Well, you're not going to believe what was at the top. You're not going to believe what was at the top. At the top of the beanstalk, there was a mighty, enormous castle. This castle was owned, which he didn't realise yet, by a ferocious giant. And if he smelt the blood of an Englishman or a boy, he'd say, Fee, by bo, bum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. So Jack didn't want to get catch bought by him, did he? Well, Jack decided to go and knock on the really big door of the castle. Ready? Knock, knock, knock. And to his surprise, the door opened. <coughs> Jack crept inside the house. And there, fast asleep, was the most enormous giant who was dribbling. Oh! But to the side of him, there was a hen. And this hen was laying golden eggs. Now, I don't know about you, but I think that's extraordinary. Hens don't lay eggs, do they? Well, hens do lay eggs, but they don't lay golden eggs, do they? So what happened? is that Jack crept up and thought to himself, hey oh, I recognise that hen. That hen used to belong to his parents a long, long time ago. Now, when he owned this particular chicken, it didn't lay golden eggs. So there must be something very magical that was put into the chicken feed in order that he created these lovely golden eggs. And you know what Jack did? He said, well, I know that chick used to be ours. And so he grabbed the chick and he tiptoed out and decided to climb back down the beanstalk. He got home and his mum said, Oh, wow, this is our old chick. I can't believe that you found it. He said, Mum, watch this. And he said to the chick, lay. And you know what the chick did? The chick laid and it laid a gold egg. She said, oh my goodness, this will solve all of our problems. And so they kept the chick. Well, the next day, he was wanting an adventure again. This is Jack, he wanted another adventure. So he decided, what did he decide to do? He climbed back up the beanstalk. And he went back to the castle. Again, knocked on the door. Doom, doom, doom door opened up he walked inside now this time there was a harp that was playing beautiful music and he thought oh that harp looks familiar that harp used to belong to my dad so he wanted to take the harp back for his rightful owner but at that moment this big giant woke up and said Fee, fi, fo, fum, I smell the blood of an Englishman. At that point, Jack was really, really scared. He grabbed the harp and he ran off down the road as fast as he could, got to the where the beanstalk was and started climbing down. But you know what happened next? The giant decided to climb down after Jack. Uh-oh, uh-oh. So Jack climbed down quicker, the giant climbed down quicker, and he turned around to his mum and said, Mum, Mum, quick, pass me an axe, pass me an axe. And what he did is he got the axe and he chopped the beanstalk down. The beanstalk fell and so did the giant. Thud! 
onto the floor. Oh, was the giant all right? Well, because the giant had landed on a different earth from the one that he was used to up in the sky, he suddenly just disappeared like it was magic. It was extraordinary. And that giant was never to be seen again. But what happened then is that Jack was left with a beautiful harp, a chick that laid eggs, and they, it, it, it made him and his mum very, very wealthy. And they lived happily ever after. Now, I was a bit worried that Jack actually stole these things because we don't steal, do we? That's really, really important. But we found out later on that all of these things that he's stolen, the chick and the chicken and the harp, all belonged to his family originally. Now, I don't know how the giant got his hands on them, but they returned to their rightful owner, which was his family. And they happened to have magical powers. Isn't that amazing? Hope you enjoyed that story and you liked my lovely tall beanstalk. Let's join Ben and Joe for some rhyme time now. Hello everybody! Oh. We're gonna do some songs today all about you maybe too, all about uh Jack and Beast song, aren't we? Yes. So the first song I thought we could do is a song about going up and down. Because what did Jack do? Jack went up the beanstalk and down the beanstalk and the song I'm thinking of is the Grand Old Duke of York. You ready? Oh, the Grand Old Duke of York. He had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill. He marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Oh, the Grand Old Duke of York. He had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill. He marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Did you want to be up the top? Did you want to be up the top? Now the next song I thought of, oh, you like just jumping, just like jumping, 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 jumping. The next song I thought of was, what colour was the beanstalk? What colour was the beanstalk? Light green. Light green, a bit like your top, was it? Now, what animal is green? What? So five little speckled frogs that see five fingers, five fingers. Five little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious grub. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were four green speckled frogs. Glum, glum. Four little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious grub. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there was... How many? Three. Three green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Three little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious grub. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there was two green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Two little... The speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious grub. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there was one green speckled frog. Glum, glum. Because <laughs> all the others are in the water, aren't they? Now, another song I thought we could sing today involves being on a farm. Because when Jack went down the road, he was going to sell his cow Daisy, wasn't he? So, I was thinking, what songs do we know of that have a farm in them? Old MacDonald. That's a funny way to say it. Old MacDonald. You ready? Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. And on that farm he had a cow. E I E I O. With a moo moo here and a moo moo there. Here moo there, moo everywhere, moo moo. Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. And on that farm he had a... Had a what? What are you doing? Stop looking at yourself with the camera. He had a... Chicken. E-I-E-I-O. 
With a cluck cluck here and a cluck cluck there Here a cluck, there a cluck, everywhere a cluck cluck Old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O Old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had a Had a horse, E I E I O, with a nay nay here and a nay nay there, here and nay there and nay everywhere and nay nay. Old MacDonald had a farm, E I E I O. Well done, give yourself a big big clap. Well done, everybody. Well done. So. We've now got, we're going to say goodbye now, but we've got some craft activities for you to do at home. We've got lots and lots of different beanstalks that you can make. So after we say goodbye, I'm going to show you a few of those little videos just so you can do them in your own time. Should we say goodbye now, boys? Bye! Are you ready?